Well, some of the most familiar faces in downtown St. Augustine are now uh, sporting a new look, face mask on some of the city's statue. statues. And as On Your Side's Jeff Allen found out, what might look like mischief is actually an intended message. We were literally turned around and came back just to take a picture of this for posterity. St. Augustine has a new face. One with a backstory. It actually makes me want to put on my mask now. Some of the oldest city's most iconic figures, statues of Pedro Menendez at City Hall and Pax and Pelly guarding the east end of the Bridge of Lions wearing face masks. It started in March when Wolfgang Cho and his wife Mickey, who donated Pax and Pelly to the city back in 2015, bought 10,000 surgical and N95 masks for the city manager to give staff. He sent them to uh, the fire chief, he sent them to the police department. Uh, some went even to the hospital because the hospital didn't have any masks. It was incredible. It was really something that we very much appreciated uh, his assistance on. The idea arose to put a used mask on city founder Pedro Menendez's statue. City manager approved it and we went with it. That got show talking with someone he calls a mindful neighbor. I said, well, wait a minute. Can you make these for the lions? She said, sure, and I'm probably bringing myself into trouble confessing that I put them on. Now, no one I met is losing the seriousness of the situation, but they are allowing themselves a lion-sized laugh at what is a playful act and a public service announcement all at once. We're glad that it, it made a positive impact, and the fact that the lions are wearing them um, is a great compliment to the idea. Pax and Pally, our two lions, will keep reminding everybody, first of all, remain distant and second of all, wear your mask. Levity and philanthropy in the face of adversity. In St. Augustine, Jeff Ballin, First Coast News on your side.